Hello, welcome back to Bottles to Consider. It feels like it's been a minute since we've just been here talking about a water bottle. So excited to get into it. The one we're talking about today, a little different than one's the typical kind of genre I, I cover. This one is less sort of outdoorsy, you know, really putting the emphasis on, on its utility. And there's a little bit more of um, beauty, design, urbanity, cosmopolitanism to this bottle, um, which, you know, might be just what some of you are looking for, might not be what some of you are looking for. But, you know, I think it's great to just expose yourself to a wide variety of tastes and experiences. And, you know, maybe you'll find this one tickles your fancy uh, a little more than you thought. So without further ado, this is the Soden bottle by Hay. Hay is like an interior design store. I, I forget what country it's from, but it's like, it's like very kind of like Scandinavian design, um, high style sort of stuff. And then this bottle is from, they have like a partnership or some sort of collaboration with George Soden, who's like a famous industrial designer. Um, which, you know, you can Google all about him if you want. I think he was part of a group like the Memphis Group, which was a collective or Memphis Collective or something. They did lots of sort of colorful, exuberant designs uh, in like industrial design spaces. So this is something from him. The biggest thing that you're either going to love or not love about this bottle is just the look. So I guess take a good look. Does it spark joy? I will say, like, I I enjoy it. I, I read some blurb on the internet that was like, as much a sculpture as a water bottle, which, you know, it's it does look cool. It's And it's a nice color. You know, the cap, it does have this, like, very distinctive, interesting look. It's almost like you could imagine it being, like, a very pretty flower vase. But instead, it's a water bottle. So yeah, looks, I mean, it's like, it's the only thing to talk about, but also I feel like there's kind of nothing to talk about. I'm not looking to do like art criticism too much on it, other than that, you know, here it is. But so let's get into more of the form and practicality of it, because I feel like that that's just where I have the strongest feelings. And like, if someone else wants to leave in the comments some real, you know, artistic critiques as a work of design, I would love to hear it. It's just, yeah, not what kind of comes up fastest for me. It's got a little rubber bottom, which again, could be nice or not nice, depending on your preferences. Um, it's nice because it doesn't clink as much when you, right? It doesn't, it's a muted sound. You know, it's not that bodily sound. But the downside is, it can be a little grippy. You could be in inviting trouble, but you know, people get used to it. They have a preference one way or the other, but that's there. The other thing is maybe you could hear from the gong-ish sound, it is insulated. I found it does a good job. Again, I'm just not, someday maybe I'll do some real testing, you know, does it stay this temperature for this many hours? Yeah, it, it just doesn't often feel to me like the most important feature. I feel like at this point, a lot of the technology in there is quite good. And so if it's insulated and it's not like the most cheapo thing, it will keep my water cold when I want it cold, hot when I want it hot. But yeah, insulated. Hold seltzer, which I was a little surprised by, but what a pleasant surprise. One thing that I think was interesting is the cap, you know, take away the design component, just look from here. Very similar cap to the Swell bottles. They sort of go very deep into the bottle and the, the, the gasket is at the bottom and the Swell bottles also do quite well with seltzer. So kind of interesting, maybe there's something to this shape that keeps it from popping off like champagne with seltzer. You know, I wasn't expecting much uh, performance wise from this sort of fancy bottle, but it's doing all the things. It's insulating the water. It's holding the seltzer. It's plenty leak proof. A lot of ways I was quite impressed. But there were a few things that I think kind of got in my way. I mean, one, the size. This thing's 12 ounces. This is negligible. This is a margin of error amount of water. 
I'm being a little, I'm joking, but too small for me. They have one as well that's a little bit bigger, 17 ounces. There's a 17 ounce. I, I don't know. I, that's still, that's like really on the small threshold for me. I have a feeling it's taller. I can, I'll put links in the show notes and whatnot. And I'd say the other main issue for me, it was the sipping ergonomics. So if you can see, there's this real kind of smooth shoulder, and then it kind of smoothly goes back up to here. And I just found it weird to drink from. On one hand, your mouth, it's nice. This ends up being like a little lip shelf, but something about the size of it combined with the curviness, I don't know, it's like my lips felt squished as I was drinking from it. Yeah, hard to describe and could be very like biometrically based. But I do think there's something, you can see, this is not what I think most water bottles look like towards the top. And I'm just wondering if perhaps there's a reason why, you know, it looks cool, but maybe this is not ideal for going up against most people's mouths. Aside from that, the only real con I would say, although honestly, it's not even that much of a con, is the price. This 12 ounce one is $35 and the 17 ounce is $40. You can probably find that cheaper maybe on other corners of the internet, but that's how much it is on Hayes website, which is like the place where that's selling this from the designer. And honestly though, 40 bucks for a 17 ounce bottle, that's like in line with a Hydro Flask, uh, a Yeti, you know, the like high-end outdoorsy bottles. Other pros, just a few final ones to wrap it up. The finish is nice. There are lots of cool colors online. The bottom line is if this looks cool to you and you feel like it would really bring you joy to have this as a water bottle, make sure it's not funky feeling on your mouth. But aside from that, like, it's just like a good bottle that checks all the boxes. Like we've found a high design bottle that actually seems to do all the stuff, which is great. So anyhow, but thought I'd share it. It's a very different thing. I'll put links uh, to where you can find it. You know, leave in the comments if there are any other kinds of bottles you'd like to see tested and reviewed. You know, um, I read all the comments. I love hearing from people about water bottles, it's so fun. And yeah, other than that, please like and subscribe. It's like very helpful to me. Um, and I will just see you next time. Bye.